It's MullaBoy99, your favorite hey. Minecraft YouTuber, your destination for the greatest YouTube drama recaps, and also the internet's busiest music nerd, Koki, what's up? But before we get into any of that, I have some more important things to talk about today, like how to make custom designs on any type of clothing with bleach. Like with all my DIY videos, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm doing this all first try, first hand, first experience. So when I make mistakes, just learn from my mistakes, okay? It's a, uh, it's okay to make mistakes too. I mess up so you don't have to. So let's go. Here's everything you need with links in the description. <laughs> Guys, this is messed up. Amazon really packaged this whole thing in this box. Huh? What? Oh, I gotta cut my nails. So there's a lot of things that I bought here, but you definitely probably don't have to buy all of this. So here's what you need. A steam iron. You're gonna need a steam iron. A steam iron. A steam iron. A steam iron. Because we'll be making stencils, it's preferable if you have a cutting mat. If you don't though, it's probably okay. As long as you have a razor blade, but just be careful, I guess, with where you cut. But um, the link I provided below should come with a razor mat and some blades. This freezer paper. This one is uh, the most important thing. I can't explain too much of this yet, but just hang on and you'll see what we do with this. Basically, this freezer paper will be what we use to make the stencil. We'll cut out the freezer paper and stick on the freezer paper onto clothing. When we do bleach, it should be great because of how tightly pressed onto the clothing it is and there will be like no leaks or anything. And I also have this neon green dye. We've used red dye plenty of times on this channel, but I've never used this neon green dye before. So I hope it turns out pretty nice. Chlorine bleach, you're gonna need that. And we'll be using this spray bottle. This one's actually like uh, made for like chemicals and things. The spray bottle is just gonna help it evenly distribute better than like splashing bleach onto it. And lastly, like with all DIYs, I recommend you use a piece of clothing that you uh, don't mind messing up on. The thing is though for me ever since I started all these DIY projects I eventually ran out of things that I can just mess up on so I had to pick up a brand new piece of clothing And I kind of went all out with this one and I chose this 100% cotton Carhartt work jacket And I'm gonna be honest I'm not really sure how it's gonna end up absorbing in that bleach because if you can look carefully I think just by looking at the texture of this It's not as fine as a regular piece of like 100% cotton Clothing. I feel like that jacket is pretty coarse, pretty thick, but if it works well on that, then it should work well with whatever you use. So let's make the stencil and I'm going to show you guys how I made my stencil and give you guys some tips. So let's, uh, let's go, let's go, come on. So I'm using Photoshop just to get this photo together, but you can use anything or not even use Photoshop. Those dimensions that you just saw are perfect for a regular size A4 piece of paper. And we'll be using Daki from Demon Slayer today. Again, like always, if we're gonna use a regular photo from Google, don't resell someone else's artwork, just do it for personal use. Here I'm just fixing a couple elements by copy and pasting this part. I know if I did this on one piece of paper, it would be way too small for the jacket. So I chopped this photo in half, we're gonna split it into two and just combine it together to make one big stencil. By the way, I'm also going to be cutting out all the black parts. Remember, this is a stencil, so you don't want so many different little pieces and trying to align it together when it comes down to putting this design on the jacket. I'm gonna try my best to keep all the white parts as one piece. Wait, what? Okay, well, I'm obviously going to cut that part out, but it actually looks pretty good. The sizing and everything is about perfect. That's why I had to use two pieces of paper because I knew one would be too small. Great thing about these type of DIYs also is you can just always, always just add more stencils, more colors, whenever you feel like it. I want to mention also, I didn't even start using the blade yet, but uh, this it looks pretty good. It comes with a lot of blades. It comes with this whole cutting mat. Um, I'm just pretty impressed because there are like a bunch of listings that just have the blade itself for the same price. But I don't know, maybe those blades are actually just way higher quality and stuff. Probably, to be honest. But it's not bad. I, I put the link down below. I'll let you guys know if it's good. I also recommend you guys go ahead and wash dry your piece of clothing to get rid of any coatings that might be on it. From my experience, it actually makes a big difference when you do wash it, so don't be lazy about it. We're going to use a wide amount of this freezer paper so that we don't spray the bleach onto the outsides of the shirt, so these extra inches will help a lot with that. Lay your photo flat down onto the wax side of the freezer paper. 
chop 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 i'm just gonna add some tape to hold it down here So here I overestimated how skillful I was without outlining it first before cutting it. So I recommend you definitely outline it, especially if your design is a little bit detailed. So I did a lot of alterations to this design. I put a lot of joints together also so that the whole thing could stay as one piece. It is up to you though. I actually didn't realize how easy it is to just put down the white pieces later on. So you can put a lot of detail if you want. You just have to be very careful when you place down your stencil. Don't cut out your design fully, keep a little bit of paper in between every line so it's not broken. This will make it a lot easier to transfer the stencil onto the shirt and then once we put it on the shirt, we'll finish up all the cuts. Okay guys, I guarantee you that your design probably will not be as complicated as this and even if it is, I recommend you probably don't go any more complicated than this because the paper is very thin as you can see. But anyways, there were a lot of details I had to leave out. Like you can see here, these holes, I'm going to just have to not cut them out. Nowhere on the paper is fully cut out yet. So now I'm gonna put the bleach into the spray bottle and we're gonna put this design onto the jacket and just stick it on a little bit. So let's go. Guys, please be very careful too with the razor, as you can see. I also cut myself right here. So. gonna go one half bleach one half water you need to add some water because you just use bleach you might damage the fabric a little bit okay so first thing lay it down as flat as you can I'm just gonna iron all of this once to make sure that it is flat and then we'll put the stencil over it and then we'll slowly peel apart the stencil to get it uh, get it ready. Grab your iron and iron everything out. If you're using a t-shirt or anything very thin, put a piece of cardboard inside the shirt so the bleach doesn't seep through uh, both layers of it. Now I'm using my iron over the edges of the stencil just to put it down in place but I'm not touching the design yet. After that comes the time to actually start picking off the design. So I'm being very careful also using my blade here not to, you know, cut the jacket. I decided I need a couple extra layers of protection around the edges. So I just took out some more freezer paper and started ironing that on. Okay, so this part, um, you want to be careful. Press from the top, down, top, down, top, down. If you move the iron side to side, it might go underneath the design, so that's why I'm just going up and down. Guys, I'm so f***ing cold. So now we just gotta use the spray bottle. Pray for me that this works out well. Pray for me that this works out well. Pray for me that this works out well. Do it very far away. If you do it very close and too dense, it might just leak under the paper. So do multiple coatings at a distance. So these are the first couple of sprays and here I forgot to go grab paper towels so that it doesn't seep through the freezer paper. So I get my ass up and I'm just running to get to the nearest paper towel and the nearest thing I had to me was uh, some toilet paper. Keep on doing this process and then waiting a bit in between sessions to see it get lighter and lighter. Another tip is to grab your flat iron, put it over the bleached area. It's really gonna lighten up the bleach, but make sure you do this outside unless you're trying to die. I'm also wearing a mask, by the way. Now I'm gonna peel it off and uh, I hope nothing leaked through overall. We get the uh, general shape going on and it's good. Guys, this might be like the best DIY I've ever done with like the most minimal amount of mistakes.
Before I attempt to dye it green a little bit, I'm gonna throw this in the washing machine so that the uh, the dye also works its best. But overall, guys, this is pretty uh, pretty nice. Like I've never had a DIY just turn out okay. Um, yeah, I like it a lot. Hey guys, I just want to take this time to say that this video was sponsored by myself. I stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays except today when this video is uploaded because it's like 7am. I'm still editing this video. I think a lot of people have this misconception that I just play video games on stream, but I actually literally just talk to you guys for 5 hours straight. It's really fun and we're about to hit our 1 year anniversary. I'm about to do a 24 hour stream in February. Actually, it's over 24 hours. I'm really passionate about everything I do on Twitch and it's almost as big or if not bigger to me than you YouTube. It is 100% my platform of choice and honestly I sort of just make YouTube videos too so people can check out the Twitch. Even if you've never used Twitch before it's so worth it during this quarantine. There are so many great streamers on there who you can just talk to. You do not have to be interested in playing video games. Like come on man I'm not even interested in that. Instagram lives, TikTok lives, nah all that this is the place guys. I hope to see some of you guys and if you come from this video let me know in the chat on Twitch when I go live. So I, uh, I just ran them through the wash. You can see here, I have some splotches of very concentrated bleach. That's no problem with me. It gives it a little bit of a distressed look everywhere. And I think, you know, distressing uh, vintage look and everything goes well with, you know, Carhartt. But I'm saying that because it's up to you though. You can definitely try to make it condensed everywhere or whatever, just to minimize the splotches. So here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna use this. Again, neon green red dye. Now, why neon green? Basically, because I have had a lot of experiences using RIT dye on bleached fabrics, which by the way, isn't very recommended. Um, it even says, may not be effective on bleach damaged fabrics. So if you're bleaching clothing and using RIT dye, do not expect the color to ever end up looking like the bottle. So Nick, why did you buy RIT dye? Because I actually just really enjoy the results because the colors usually end up sort of muted and actually just like so unique. But guys, I'll show a photo here. And I'll link below um, regular ink dye that you can use if you really just want to get the color that you want, if that's more of your thing. Regardless though, and by the way, neon, I chose neon also because if it turns out neon, great. If it turns out a little bit of a darker green, yeah, still cool with me. Actually, no, I would be completely fine because that is my expectation when I uh, bought the dye for this. By the way, you don't even have to dye it, obviously. If you're happy with the way it looks bleached, just keep it like that. Psych, wait, um, I also messed up sort of on one part right here. I thought the hood would end up here. That's why I put the design down here. Like this looks perfect, right? But actually though, if I wear this jacket, the hood sort of ends up like here. And there's a lot of space around here. And honestly here too, because the jacket's just pretty puffy on the sides. Still looks great, but what I'm planning to do with all that extra space is to eventually just do some more stenciling or maybe even uh, transfer paper. If you guys have ideas, you can comment below too. One cup salt. one tablespoon of dish soap and make sure you read the bottle to see how much dye you'll be needing in this case since this jacket is huge i'm gonna be using the whole bottle the whole thing oh i should shake well too oh and hot water give it a mix honestly the salt is probably all the way down there wait That should be the uh, the whole back. I'll see you guys in 60 minutes. Hey yo, so it's been an hour. Let's check it out. So about half an hour in, I was just adjusting it a little bit just in case it wasn't hitting some of the spots, especially because of how small this bucket is. So uh, I hope it ended up okay. I honestly would almost be surprised that every spot was hit green. I uh, need to invest in a bigger bucket, guys. Oh, that's so heavy. All right, so there's really no point in judging it yet because once we put it in the wash, it's gonna be a complete different color. Usually at this stage, it's ending up a lot darker than it really is. Um, on camera too, it appears very light on these spots, but in person, it does not look like that. So far though, it looks like it's going as expected, but we gotta put it in the wash to see. I pray to Jesus. And we prayed, yo. We prayed really hard. So as you can see, the color the camera is picking up is definitely a lot different than how it is. On camera, trust my word, I'll try to color correct it, but it's appearing a little bit lighter than it really is. I'll let you guys know on screen if this is the color that it actually turned out or not. I'll give you guys some close details on that. Well, guys, check it out.
So you have this whole fit, this is the Carhartt jacket, Carhartt work pants, double knee, um, just a blank hoodie. So stick around if you want to see me DIY these Carhartt pants next, because that's the next DIY project. And then we'll have a fully decked out Carhartt uniform ready. All in all, it's pretty good. I did hit up here a little bit, but that's fine with me because I'm planning with all this extra space up here, I can fit so much more. And I'm thinking about doing it the color purple to complement the green. That should um honestly turn out pretty good. And that should really just like finish it all up. But you know what? Overall, this is a, I love it. I really just love how straightforward and simple all of this is. I think literally you guys, anybody could do this. The stencil design does not even have to be that complicated and I'm sure there are people out there who can pull it off and even make a more complicated stencil design for sure. Guys, I actually really love it when you do these type of things and send it to me on Instagram or my Discord. It is so insane and I really do reply to all of them. Until then, I'll catch you guys on Twitch three days a week, every week, five hours a day. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you didn't like it, sub if you want to or not. You know, guys, it's Nick, it's been good. I'll see you guys really soon. Peace. Peace.